Hi everyone, can you tell from the smile on my face what kind of day this is? Maybe the hat will give it away. Maybe the Nancy's Welcome to Nancy's wine tasting will give it away. You guessed it, it's Friday. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to another Friday Night Wine Diary series. Tonight we are going to be having some Wicked Bliss Cabernet Sauvignon from Vino. As we all know, hashtag Nancy really wants to PR for Vino someday. We're having some leftover dinner from the week, so I'm really excited about my dinner. First time was great second time is going to be just as great so anyway I had a really really fun week this week i'm not going to post this till the friday after but anyway this is the week that uh, our youngest daughter sabrina came with the jelly beans uh, aiden and tori pie and we had such such a fun week it was just so great to see them again it's so great to be able to see your family and be with your loved ones and it just oh my gosh that is what life should be about right but anyway speaking of loved ones i'm so glad that you guys are here it really means a lot to me that you're able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me especially on fridays you know when i have some wine because we all know it's not healthy for nancy to drink alone I have to get that in there some someplace, don't I? So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much. It really means a lot to me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope you take a quick second. Hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. I love it when you guys give me a thumbs up and just your recommendations on wine or what you guys are doing for the weekend. Um, it's Friday night. I hope you guys had a flat, fabulous fast work week, issue free. Now you're just ready to party and celebrate the weekend. So I would love to hear your plans. What are you doing tonight? What are you having for dinner? And what great plans do you have for the weekend? So anyway, for the week that we had. So we went out to eat a lot. And uh, one of the best places that we went to was the River Inn in Hanover best prime rib around they basically just keep adding on and adding on and lots of outdoor spaces but it was hot so we wanted to sit inside so we had like a 45 minute wait but i tell you it was so so worth it so sabrina and i both got the prime rib dinner their prime rib oh my gosh it is so good i have basically have two prime ribs left in my refrigerator and anyway, so I heated one up today. We had this on Wednesday, so it's still nice and fresh. So I like to get it on the rare side so that when I cook it a little bit longer, it's still gonna be nice and juicy and in the middle and still just a little pink. So anyway, so I got my prime rib. I cut a couple of pieces off so I can taste it right here with you guys. I've got some leftover macaroni salad that we, by chance, never got to, to open in half. So I'm having a little bit here. I've got some of my Arby's seasoned French fries with Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. And I got a little bit of horseradish right there to dip my prime rib in. And I also took the home some of the au jus. So I heated some up and it's in my little shot glass here with the mousse on it because the mousse is very special. So I can dip some of my prime rib in there again great restaurant love that restaurant we actually found that by accident even though everybody probably in the whole area knew about it but rick and i didn't we stumbled across it by accident one day going through back roads on a bike ride and i tell you we were hooked we went in the waitress recommended the prime rib sandwich and we had that open face prime rib sandwich and 
it's just became tradition. We have to go. So the wine that we're having is from Bino, and um, they're probably going to be getting ready to do the fall box pretty soon. And so I think I'm going to finish up some of my wine. And of course, we all know, hashtag Nancy wants to PR for Bino one day. So the wine that I picked to go with my prime rib is this Wicked Bliss, and it's a Cabernet Sauvignon. And I always love the saying, and I've got my aerator in here from Miss Barbara Jean, age is just a number. So, Wicked Bliss. We raise a glass to those who break the unwritten rules of life. May we all be bold enough to play hooky, eat cake for breakfast, and shatter glass ceilings in the pursuit of Wicked Bliss. And anyway, I'm, I know I probably had some of their Cabernet Sauvignon before, but, but let's put some in here. And it's coming out, it looks really light. Oh, and can you see my glass here? I have got the two cutest little puppies here. I've got Babs and Maisie, and they are my littlest fans. It even says so on the glass here. I probably should have put a paper in here. It says, for Nancy, from your littlest fans with love. And this is from Alfred. And I do have that video. I'll probably post that video up there because uh, it was like my friend mail. So anyway, it's uh, nice and light. And Alfred, uh, like I said, he's got the cutest little puppies here. And this is probably the picture that I had in my countdown to uh, New Year's that I did that vlog and I hope you know, more people will participate in that from, from you guys. I just really love just doing old Lang Syne at the end of each of those videos and then just showing the pictures of my subs that sent me their picture because we are all one big happy family and that song just means so much looking at your pictures scrolling through the pictures. But anyway just going to have a little sniff here see what I say. I'm just going to kind of swirl it around in my glass right here. Like I said, it's very translucent. You can see through it. It's like a pinky kind of red. Sometimes on the monitor, it's different from what I see. Mm. I smell plum. Or maybe oak, some vanilla. Maybe cherries. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. This is nice. It's got some nice soft tannins. It's still kind of creamy. It's got a nice texture to it. I'm going to say it's a medium body. You can just kind of feel it dry when you put it in from the tannins. Just kind of dry your mouth out. But there is so much acidity from the fruits in here. Like the plums. Might even be blackberries, some cherries in here. And your mouth just starts watering back here. So then your mouth starts watering and just those flavors just kind of come alive. Um, it's got that softness in here, like some vanilla that is, is in here, just kind of soften those flavors, maybe make it a little smoother, and just uh, the oak tannins that was probably in the oak barrel, so you can kind of taste that oak, and this is, this is really, really good. So, cheers. Gonna have another sip before I have a bite of my prime rib. Cheers, everyone. This that is very good it's very smooth very nice got a little fork right here gonna stab one of my pieces of prime rib going to dip it in my au jus and a little bit of horseradish got a napkin here I'm gonna have a quick bite mm, this is so tender love 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 the horseradish on it the juice makes it just even more juicier. That is so good. Second time around, I'm going to have a few more meals out of this. Tomorrow Saturday, I might even make some with some eggs in the morning for some breakfast. I'm going to have a quick sip, and then I will be right back after I swallow. Mm. And this was such a good dinner. I should really cut up more pieces before I come in. 
so that I can have the whole thing when I take that quick break. Oh, it was delicious. And I can't thank you guys enough for spending part of your night with me. And I want to thank Vino for having such good wines. The Wicked Bliss line. I mean, I've got the Moscatos from them. Really, really love them. They've got a Petite Syrah that is so, so good too. And it's just so much fun tasting all these different wines that I get from Vino and of course my wink box. I'm a little bit behind on my wink box. I haven't had any of my wink wines from June or July and my August is out for delivery. So anyway, I'm a little bit behind, but you know what? I'm just going to keep going at this pace. I don't really want to have two bottles of wine open a week. So if I'm in the mood for it and I maybe want to open something on a Wednesday, then I probably won't do a wine diary on Friday just because it just, yeah, it's too much. Two bottles for one person a week. It's, it's just, just too much. And even though I'm not drinking the whole thing, they take up a lot of space in the refrigerator. True story. And of course, I've got a lot of open wine in the refrigerator because I just can't drink it fast enough and I don't want to drink it fast enough. But anyway, uh, Sabrina came. We had to go and get some kid-friendly things like milk and things like that. And uh, she went to put it in the refrigerator and she's like, you have a lot of wine in here, Mom. And I'm like, that's what an adult refrigerator looks like, Sabrina. Yeah, you don't have one. I have an adult refrigerator. And we had a little laugh over that. But anyway, I want to thank you guys again for stopping in, spending some time with me. I truly appreciate it. And I can't wait to read your comments. I hope everybody goes out and has a fabulous Friday night and an even greater weekend. Enjoy, everybody. Take care. Be safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much, and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.